Okay, I know, I know, I know. We called the first Eternals trailer eternally boring, but I'm here to give it a second chance with the final trailer. We'll see. We'll see. Welcome, friends. We're going to react. Uh, I'm not going to play the trailer for you because I'm tired of getting yanked from YouTube or anywhere else. So we're just going to kind of go over highlights and just point out some things I liked and some things I didn't like. And then I'm going to point out maybe some things we didn't see because I saw some things that caught my eye in this trailer that I was like, hmm. Now, I'm not excited for the Eternals. It doesn't look super interesting. The color palette looks like mud. It's amazing. Everybody gave Taika Waititi so much credit for when he did Thor 3 for, oh my God, you did such an amazing job with the colors and the blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So if you're thinking about the Eternals, what I want you to think about is, is Jack Kirby's original designs here. The dude has, I mean, these colors are just like vibrant and crazy and it's like super, super crazy stuff, right? I don't have a better color. <laughs> I don't have a better description for it. But uh, what I'm just saying, like they're very bold colors and they're very vibrant, just like what I would, you know, what I would expect from Jack Kirby interpreted works. And then you have Taika Waititi getting all this credit for doing something, and now the director that they have, this unknown director who's barely done anything, right? She's doing this, and the the color palette looks like mud. So we'll go through the trailer and, and we'll discuss it. There were some things I thought were cool and some things that I thought were ridiculous. So just just a shout out to Jack Kirby. Like, guy does some good, you know, always did great work. Groundbreaker. And uh, I just feel like it should have been more vibrant like this, right? So trailer starts out. Uh, Salma Hayek, who plays Ajak, and I'm not going to know every character. I just know some of them. I know she's the leader of the Eternals from what I understand. And she's saying something like, the world's gonna end in seven days. Apparently she got a call from the girl in the well, from the ring, and they're coming for the world. Or she's gonna come for the world, make everybody watch her videotape. I don't know. Anyway, so she says there's some awakening happening because exposition dump the reason why they didn't uh, interfere with Thanos snapping half of the universe because they were told not to so and you gotta remember they were created by the celestials so I guess they have to obey so anyway uh, there's enough energy now to disrupt the, the the universe or whatever and they're coming for earth uh, specifically earth right I don't think this is like a universe ending event and what you'll find out about them is that they fight these these things called deviants, right? So there's that dude from Game of Thrones, and he's like, yeah, what's going to happen? Worldwide calamity, blah, 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 right? Uh, here's a picture, I guess, of one of the Celestials. I think that's a cool image. Like, again, it's so dark and not particularly vibrant, but I think that's cool imagery. I would like to see more of that. Now, am I going to pay to see this? I, I don't know. Here's their, their spaceship, I guess. They're flying around the universe. Looking for some fights. They're kind of like Superman. Like, they all have different powers, but they kind of have all this, like, super generic power. So, yep, Superman vision is one of those things. See these costumes? Like, they're kind of... They're very muted, is what I would say. And it's very kind of, like, muddish colors. So, look, he's fighting this... Uh, this is a deviant, right? So it's some sea monster thing. And that's the only thing I think is kind of stupid. Like, okay, I, the fighting CGI monsters is kind of played out, right? It doesn't look that great. So as you, you'll see through this, I, I don't, I don't think it looks all that fantastic, but they go, they must, they got to go around the world and put the, we got to put the team back together. Let's get the A team together. Let's get everybody back. So, and I'm sure there'll be like exposition about how like, oh, we were through time not interfering with anything, but now we're going to interfere because we want to interfere. I, I know for sure they took a lot of that criticism for the first trailer where they're like, why did they not do anything, right? Now, this image, this is Erisham, the, uh, I, and I didn't know this, but I, when I saw it, I was like, that's some cool imagery, but 
Yeah, let me bounce to this. It's not Galactus, folks. So don't get too excited. Uh, but his name is Arishem the Judge, one of the most powerful Eternals. Or not Eternals, Celestials. So I, I just, I think that imagery looks cool. I think, now if you, if you go back to Guardians of the Galaxy, nowhere is the head of an Eternal or uh, a celestial, not an eternal. So you've got these giant cosmic beings. Remember the celestials, they they built the, the infinity gems, giant creatures, right, whatever. So this like giant robot looking thing, I guess is like commanding them or, or who knows. But you know, that imagery is pretty striking. I was like, yeah, okay, you've got my attention. Again, not excited. Uh, you get to see Angelina Jolie, who I think is the best fighter of the group. I forget her character's name. Maybe Thena, right? They got this little kid. I mean, just look at these costumes. Like, what is going on here? This isn't Dune, right? You don't need to make everything so, like, blah. And they're, like, wearing street clothes, whatever. Uh, let's keep going. He uses his little powers here. Oh, yeah, Chloe Zhao. That's the Academy Award-winning director who's never directed anything big in her entire career. Here we go, them in their full costumes. They're just so, the colors are muted. Let me remind you again, Jack Kirby, Taika Waititi. Oh my God, so amazing. You did all those cool colors. Now you get bleh. Just so like bland, right? Sparklers in the sky. That doesn't seem like a very special power to me, making sparklers. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are a little bit of exposition. There is, um, Kit Harrington, right? And he's gonna play the Black Knight. Don't really know what his deal is, but I did see like kind of a cool image there. Where is it? It probably happened so fast, I can't even get it. I think they turn a car into flower petals or something. It's in here somewhere. Anyway, uh, some more, this is kind of cool imagery. I don't know what this is. Look, walking into a ship or something. Almost looks like a matte painting. You know, more crystals and like, this is kind of interesting. You know, that's what I'm, I'm looking for. Something cool to look at. I think they're fighting more deviants here, right? More CGI monsters. Again, just, I don't know how I feel about the CGI monsters. Like, okay, whatever. Like, that doesn't seem super cool. Here's Angelina Jolie being a, a badass. There's something in between here that I'm trying to capture. Oh, here's another Celestial, by the way. Uh, that guy's name is Nezar the Calculator, right? So that's cool. Big giant space robots starting to get me interested. You know, your last trailer bored me to tears, but this one's got some interesting drops. Uh, I can, I might be able to get into that. Um, here's another guy, but this is like a plot. Th this is like a spoiler, so I won't tell you who that is. Just FYI. But there's Angelina J Jolie getting rubbed up on by some man. There's some, you know, flying space monsters. Like, it kind of looks like... Do you remember the CGI from Shazam, if you saw that one? Where the... create Like, the, sh the, the, sh the movie was really good, but the CGI of the monsters was, like, really dumb. So, yeah. And then there's this terrible joke at the end. Like, oh, my gosh. I guess I could have put on closed captioning. But I guess he can... The one character can, like, make things out of his mind. And he made the safe house out of vibranium, but he smashes it. And it's kind of stupid. Like, oh, you smashed the table. Not that funny. I, I wasn't that thrilled with that. That's a cool shot there. I mean, that's it's kind of cool. I think I think that's kind of an you know that's interesting. I, I'm I'm a little more interested. I wanted to catch that one shot of the uh, the flowers if I could, but like I said, there's some cool imagery going on. I I don't think I'm. Um, I'm not excited, but I'm instead of like straight up passing on this one, maybe I'll, I'll actually watch it because I, I was straight up not going to watch it. But at this point, I think I, I'll give it a shot. I want to be positive. I know that the the uh, trailer itself has like quite a few views and and mostly positive. Like the ratios are positive. Just like here, this is a smaller site, but mostly positive reaction to it. So I think people are like, oh, there's actually action in this. Oh, I'm shocked. So anyway. Just my two cents. Want to throw it out there. Hopefully, I pointed out some things that were interesting to you. Uh, hopefully, we earned your subscription. We could really use this, uh, the subscriptions and the likes and the shares help grow this channel so that we can provide you with more entertainment and possibly some insight and some humor. And uh, be sure to catch our full-length audio podcast that is available anywhere on 
any podcast platform. Just search for Our Reviews Will Kill You and we will show up. So from all of us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You to all of y'all at home, we love y'all and I'm on to the next one.